This is Rhett Laubach, owner and chief motivational officer of Your Next Speaker. What you're about to see is eight minutes of the Your Next Speaker experience. Highly interactive, high content, and high impact are the words our clients use to describe the Your Next Speaker way. Thank you for taking time to check us out, and thank you for considering us to be your next speaker. I'm going to give you a little instant motivation right here at the first. What I want you to do is look to the person to the left of you and the person to the right of you and tell those two people you are so, so good looking this morning. Do that for me. You are so, so good looking this morning. You are so, so, I love that dress. That is so nice. It's so, it's so new. That's great. Woo! Very nice. Yes, indeed. Now, wait a minute. Now, hold on a second. Now, some of you people were looking to the folks beside you, and you were kind of going, not really, brother. Okay. Well, let me tell you, there was a study that was done that said one out of every three American is ugly, okay? So if the two people sitting beside you are good looking, we need to have a talk, all right? It's all about what's on the inside. Everybody say that with me on the count of three. One, two, three. It's all about what's on the inside. I told you, you make the right commitments that'll help you make good choices. Now, we all make bad choices. It just happens. How many people in there ever baptized a cat? You ever baptized a cat? That's a bad choice, all right? They don't like it. Now, you can bathe the cat, okay, if it's dirty, all right? Have y'all, did y'all get that email? It has something to do with a toilet and detergent? I don't know. It's a, yes, you read it. Did you try it? Oh, good. Okay, good. <laughs> do not try it, okay? We all make bad choices, all right? It's going to happen. Okay, it's gonna happen. I made a bad choice one time growing up. How many people in here are country folk? Raise your hand if you're country folk. Uh, I stepped out in that, I lived on a hog farm, so I stepped out in that fresh, brisk, you know, hog farm morning air, and just fill your lungs with power. Yes, woo! And I sized my, I sized it up, all right? I sized it up, I stood right there. I knew I was gonna get, I was gonna get a pretty big run, all right? And I backed up, and I'm like, we're gonna make this happen. There's gonna be some sweet chicken going on right here. The outhouse is gone, I'm tired of it. So I ran and boom! Push it down in the outhouse. Give the outhouse a round of applause right here. It's down in the creek. Here up on the deck. It's gone. The outhouse is gone. We are happy. We are excited that the outhouse is gone. All right? No more outhouse. Goodbye. So, school bus came. We got on the school bus. Went to school. Now, my dad was the local ag teacher. Okay? And he was over with the big kids. I was with the little kids. I knew I wouldn't see him till that night. Right? Well, I saw him. He came up to me. He said, Rep, did you push that outhouse to the creek bed? I said, yes, sir, I did. <laughs> he started taking off his belt. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Now, hold on a minute. Now, George Washington cut down the cherry tree and told his dad and everything was all right. Now, what's the deal? He looked at me and said, yeah, but Rep, I don't think that George Washington's dad was sitting in the cherry tree <laughs> when he cut the thing down. Are in this room right now, you are a leader. Everybody with me say, uh huh. Uh -huh. Now, my question for you this morning is, what are you doing about it? What are you doing about it? If you go to Webster's Dictionary and look under the title of my program this morning, which is Torch Bears, what is it? Say it with me, Torch Bears. Say it with me now. Come on, work with me, people. Torch Bears. There we go. We're moving a little quicker. I like it. If you look at Torch Bears, it says simply leaders. Leader, my challenge for you this morning is to be a torchbearer. My whole goal for my 59 minutes, maybe 57, if I talk really fast this morning, is to help you understand how to be the absolute best torchbearer that you can be for your organization. Because not everybody can be a torchbearer, not everybody is called to be a torchbearer, but it's absolutely imperative that we move closer to being a torchbearer for our organization. And in my small town, I remember there were so many people, so many students that were conditioned. They were conditioned in certain things that they could not break out of, just like those elephants. They were conditioned that they were going to be average for the rest of their life. They were, going to, they were conditioned that they couldn't get anything above the sea. They were conditioned that if they are not a student officer, a student elected leader, that they can't make a difference. They were conditioned that they cannot excel in things. That we are all conditioned to do certain things. I want you guys to break out of that. I'm going to help you do that this morning. And I'm here to set you on fire legally, all right? That is really the job. We're here to set people on fire legally, right? How many people here would like to have people that you work with in your team, either, either across from you 
or down the hall from me be more fired up about their work? Raise your hand. Be more fired up. Then how many people in this room you'd like to be more fired up about what you do? Then how many people in this room you would actually like to set certain people on fire that you work with? Thanks for stopping by and checking out our high content, high impact program. At Your Next Speaker, we operate off of five bedrock principles. To have something of value to say, to have a passion for saying it, to have the ability to say it exceptionally, to have a genuine interest in the listener, and to have a creative solution for every challenge. These principles allow us to serve you to the best of our ability. Learn more at yournextspeaker.com, find out how we can serve you the best, and then contact us today. We look forward to hearing from you soon.